Hello world and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Fallout 4 Semi-Blind. My name is Kelthos and in the last episode we had, while well, we were in the process of rescuing Jezebel, this brain from the robo-brain, and we destroyed some more robots and looted some more of this place, but we haven't quite looted it all yet. So in this episode we're going to continue on and continue looting this place. So here we go. Let's see if we can't get out of here. Data, oops, not data, map. Whoops, wrong thing. I meant to press R, not T. Okay, looks like we need to go that away. All right, let's go. I know there was a shit ton of robots, but I'm not sure if I killed them all. Hmm. Don't want any brown and skulls. Can I get in there? Or have I already been in there? Am I overburdened? No. Good, good. Take those, 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 and those. That and that. Am I going backwards now? Oh, there you are. You scared me. I thought you were somebody stalking me for a second. I think I've already... Yeah, I've already been through here. Okay, so go this way. Hang on. I was trying to figure out the right way to go, and I found this armor station. This power armor station. So I'm going to see if I have enough stuff with me to repair this. I probably don't, but we'll see. So, uh, craft. It's always fascinating watching you create. Is it now? Repair, yes. Oh, I had enough for that. I don't have enough for that, though. Alright, well, I guess that is all that I have enough for. So, exit. Go back. At least I have one leg, I think. Or was it an arm? Yeah, it was an arm. Okay. Anyway. Okay. I found a staircase and I went up it. And now there's some stuff here. So I'm pretty sure that I'm going the right way. I need to go back into aid though. And take another buff out. Disarm. Thank you. I don't know why it makes that weird noise. It makes me feel like it's going to go off or something. Okay. Take that. And go up here. Those rounds. I don't need any of that because I don't have enough room for it. Aluminium. Port Hagen Control Terminal. Can't do that while in power armor. What? Since when? Well, that's a bunch of shit. Looks like I gotta get out. Again. Now we'll do it. Uh, place? Sweet. Wow, that was a lucky guess. What you want to do? Uh, turret control. Deactivate, just in case I haven't killed them all. Pretty sure I have, though. Get back in the armor, and let's continue on. Uh, this way. I do believe. Can I... Ooh, I can loot you from here. I'll get your fusion core. I will always take fusion cores, thank you. How the hell do I get you? I can't, I guess. Because it doesn't look like there's a way out there. Unless I can loot you from this window somehow. Which I cannot. Technical document. Let's take that. Um, 
Plasma cartridges, rounds. Alright, onward. Microscope. Do not want the microscope. I'll take that back of duct tape though. Which is over here. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yay. Okay. Up the stairs. Everything seems to be proceeding according to plan, sir. Well, I'm glad you have a plan, because I don't. My plan, well, my plan is just to loot this place. Okay, go up here. And this way. Based on my limited experience with you, I estimate a 65% chance of making it out of here. Not optimal. An increase in effort could have an impact on the odds. Um, okay, bitch. How about I shoot you in the brain and you just fuck off? Shotgun shells. Right away, and open this door. Hmm. Burgundy bottle. I want to take these, but I don't... Well, I guess I do with the buff out. I was going to say I don't have enough space. This is the one that ripped my head off. I demand we rip her head off. It's only fair. Okay, but I don't know where she is. Are you trying to get us killed? No, I'm trying to disarm this, but I accidentally triggered it instead. Because I'm a dumbass. Hmm. Nothing else over here. No, get away from me! Get away! Well, Ada, you just go ahead and do your thing. I'll just try to kill this lady. Wow. Um, torso, because the head has a very low chance. Damn it, I died. Hang on. Okay, I got her down to... Ah, uh, low health, and I got the other one down to low health, too, so I'm gonna- t I had to take another buff out so that I can have the carry weight, but I also am gonna take some other stuff here to help me out, because this is tough. Um, how about some medics? And I'm gonna take this because it does plus 10% XP gain, and that's always welcome. Alright, now I gotta go find them again. Because I fell off this stupid thing up here. So I gotta go all the way back up. So I'll cut to when I get close to them. Okay, I'm back. She's shooting at me from over here, so I'm gonna see if I can kill her from here. Ugh. Come on. The one that hurts me the most is that Assaultron dude, though. Okay, I killed her. I would have killed her myself. Oh well. Six of one, half dozen of the other. That's true. At least I killed her. Ugh. Now I gotta go find that Assaultron. What? Kill, basically, is what he was spelling. Took me a second. Ugh, where are you? I know you're close by. Scanning. Dang it. I don't know how to get up there. Really now.
I don't think it's ceased. Rust Devil. I don't want any of that stuff. Well, I mean I do, but I don't have the room. Hmm. Flare. I certainly won't. But, where the fuck is that Assaultron? Hang on. Well, I haven't found that stupid Assaultron yet, but I found this terminal, so let's see what this does. I'm pretty sure it opens this door, though. I don't know where this door leads, but we shall see. Hmm. Just another way, I guess. Okay, then. I was trying to find that thing and I finally found it, but he's up there and I don't remember how to get there. So hopefully he comes to me, but I found this terminal as well, so let's see what this does. It probably unlocks the door right next to me, but picked, entry denied, likeness one, okay, wait, uh, crater? Yes. Yep, that was lucky. Open the door. Oopsie, there we go. Ah, uh, well, son of a bitch. Threat lost. I've lost a shirt. Detection Okay, let's go around this stupid tank and go up here. Yep, you go ahead and cover me while I go find out what the fuck this was over here. I think that's just another way to go, right? Oh. No, there's some things. Where are you? I don't know where you are, dude. Alright, I'm... I can't find the dude, so I'm just gonna go this way. Whoops. Well, I can find him, but I can't figure out how to get to him. And by the time I do, he runs off somewhere else. So I'm just going to forget it. Let's go out here. Thank goodness we are out of that hole. Now I gotta speak to Ada after done. she's done. I refuse to cooperate until you provide a body that meets my standards. Okay. Uh, where is Ada? Over here. Hi. Yes, sir. Let's Here you go, Ada. The final radar beacon. I'll need that head back when you're done. Of course. Shouldn't take but a moment. Okay. There you go. Still in one piece. I'm not sure why you want the head back. All we needed was its radar beacon. Besides, robo brains are notorious for being, well, a real pain in the neck. Uh, more info? What else do you? Quite simply, it's the first time General Atomics produced a successful union between organic matter and robotics. Okay. The brain is used both as a control unit and a data storage unit, which is far more efficient than using standard circuits. Is Unfortunately, it no? I wouldn't think so because it's organic. With these robots, which caused them to be a bit, shall we say, unhinged. Hopefully, this particular robo brain will have some of the answers that we've been seeking. Okay, uh, like a synth. The union of organic matter and robotics. Sounds an awful lot like a synth. Not at all. The Robobrain was built with a very different design philosophy in mind. General Atomic's intent was to use the human brain to augment the robot's functions. Primarily, to accelerate the decision-making process. Oh, okay. Free thought and individuality was never intended. These were expressly built like soldiers, to follow orders without question. The Robobrain's unfortunate tendency towards violence and aggression should be considered more of a malfunction than a calculated decision. Oh. I see. Uh, can we finally track down the mechanist? Now that you have the final radar beacon, will it be enough to track down the mechanist's location? I certainly hope so. I've already started the calculations while we've been having this conversation. That still doesn't explain why you need that head back. You already should know. Don't we have... Don't we have choice, or we still need it? What? We still need it, Ada. I believe it can help us access the mechanist's facility. Of course. It makes perfect sense that the Mechanist would not only keep its location a closely guarded secret, but would secure it against intrusion as well. Well, yeah, duh. I'm terribly sorry. I had 
wouldn't consider that possibility at all. Why Actually, hadn't when you? When it comes to system. assisting humans, I'm not doing very well lately. Why do you say that? Why would you say something like that? Isn't it obvious? Ever since I let my friends die in that caravan, I feel like I've been failing in my duties. I can understand why you felt like you failed the there, but you haven't been failing with me. Perhaps if I had selected an alternate route, they'd still be alive. Sometimes I wish that Jackson had programmed me with my personality mode set permanently to disabled. Uh, you're an individual, don't think that way. Personality mode. Your personality mode? What do you mean? Most robots have a personality mode select available to them for their creator to utilize. Oh. Turn it on, and we're designed to talk and act more like a human. Turn it off, and we're no better than a mindless automaton. Jackson said he didn't think of me as a servitor robot. He treated me more like a friend. That makes so sense. So he permanently set my personality mode to on. He said I should never lose my identity. I suppose I'm starting to think he was wrong. Why? Um, I'm going to save it and try to convince her of, that she's an individual. Your personality defines you as an individual. Never let that go. You're right. All of the good memories oh, I've worked. experienced being Ada would be lost if my personality mode was shut down. I can't afford to lose them. Exactly. I really think I needed to hear that from someone else. Thank you. You're welcome. Now I've distracted you for it's long true, enough. Though. I'll finish up my calculations while you deal with our new friend, Jezebel. Hopefully, right. she'll be able to grant us access to the mechanist's facility, and we can put an end to this nonsense once and for all. All right, let's talk. How do I build her a body? Map. I have to go back to sanctuary and use that. Probably use the robot thing. Okay, I'm back, and as you can see, I have a lot less carry weight because I was able to store a lot more weapons on Ada than I was on Piper. And I got my weapons back from Piper and put them on Ada as well. But anyway, I'm supposed to come here and build a body for her. So, how do I do that? Craft. Can't do that while in power armor. Okay. Let's get out then. Okay. Uh, select a bot. New automatron, I guess. You lack the requirements to build an automatron. Uh, what? Okay, exit. So, what am I supposed to do here? Um, data. Build Jezebel a body. Okay. Hang on while I figure this out. It said I lacked the requirements to build a new automatron, but then it's letting me build one, so I don't know what's going on. Available mods, Jezebel's head. Yeah, Jezebel's head. You lack the requirements. Okay. Hang on. There we go. I had to assign a few uh, different supply lines to people so that I would have enough to make this, I guess. So, let's make it. Okay. Head, Protectron head, Jezebel's head, make Jezebel's head, yes. Okay. Go back. Head armor. Factory head armor. Or head factory armor. Yes. Okay, she needs a body, a torso, I mean. Protectron torso. No front torso armor. What? Protectron torso, Assaultron torso. Okay, so the only thing I can make is a Protectron torso, so I'll do that. Never mind, turns out I didn't need more shit. I was just being dumb. Anyway, no left hand armor. What? Left hand factory armor. Sure, let's make that. Left hand factory armor, Protectron left. Okay, how do I get out of this then? Okay, right arm. No right arm armor. Right arm factory armor. No right arm hand armor. Right arm factory hand armor. Protectron right claw. Okay. This is weird. That's the timer, but I'm just trying to figure this out real quick. 
Uh, Protectron legs. Nuka mascot legs. What? Whoa, sentry legs. Sentry legs removed. Okay. Let's do front factory armor. Rear factory armor. Mm. Left arm factory armor. Right leg factory armor. Rear leg factory armor. Um, sure, let's do left leg space armor. I don't know what that does, but sure. Oh, I got the, the most toys achievement. I don't know what that means. Waist armor, we don't have enough stuff for that. Sentry legs, we already got that. Okay, back. And I think we're done. It's always fascinating watching you create. Is that good? Speak to Jezebel. Okay, let me get back in the thing and in the video, and then in the next video, video we'll talk to Jezebel. All right. So, uh, in the next episode, we will talk to Jezebel and see what she wants, or what she wants us to do next, and see if she can help us find the mecha mechanists. So I want to thank you all for watching, and if you like what you see, I suggest you subscribe to my channel so you can see the new videos I post every single day. And if you really like the videos, I'd really like it if you could leave a thumbs up and a comment. That way I could have some interaction on my channel and know that people are actually watching and actually care. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.